My Vicastes has returned. I can only presume you've delivered judgment to Atlantis. You said you outlawed experimentation on humans. All of it was lies. The Isu are out of control. What are you talking about? My laws are absolute, and by them all must abide. I have declared it. Your laws have done nothing. People are suffering under your rule, and you don't even realize it. No one would have the audacity to disobey me. Surely this is a mistake. You should listen to him, you know. Judo. Impossible! You're forbidden from entering the city. Guards! Your guards respect your sons. And when you appointed that hybrid as your dicastis, your sons turned to us. Even my sons know better than to bow to a warmonger! The humans are bringing war whether we want it or not, Poseidon. They should, after what you've done. You mean what they've forced us to do. Poseidon worries about the sun and his solar floral regeneration project. Catastrophe is coming for us. On that we agree. But there is only one catastrophe. Humanity. When I got here, Poseidon said I was where I belonged. Someone tell me why I'm really here. Now! Such sadness. He's even more human than I expected. Eta, answer him. Gladly. In you, we found opportunity. Imagine the possibilities if we duplicated your hybrid form. We could employ our technology to control your mind. You, hybrid, can be used to craft Juno's ultimate weapon. Or rather, you could have been. My husband's experiment was promising, but after observation, we've decided you are a failure. Our new weapon is far deadlier than you could ever be. The Ekatohiras. Aida. You didn't. I did. The Ekatohires will rise. Project Olympos will strike fear so deeply into the hearts of humanity, they would never consider revolt. And you will declare my husband the Dikastis Vasilevs. Dikastis, stop this. If they are successful, we are doomed. All of us. You have to trust me. You deal with these two. I'll find a way to stop their plans. It's too late. The procedure was already a success. The Agadohires lives. Can't you hear him stir? You did this in my laboratory under the palace. Entrance was barred when I outlawed human experimentation. What is that sound? Is that your weapon? I will bring justice to these two, but I need you to stop the Ekatohires before it kills us all. Go!
Aita's experiments. Thief. I can't get too close. Remarkable. You really are the greatest of the humans and of my people. Where is Juno and Etta? Imprisoned. For now. But they will not stop. If imprisonment won't stop them, then leave them alone in a room with me. I'll make sure they never hurt anyone again. And what would that prove? That you are as cruel as Juno and her husband? I don't intend to prove anything. I intend to stop this, and to save those that have suffered because of your hubris. So in the end, you brought judgment to Atlantis after all. Very well, Gastis. Do you still have Cerberus's device? I didn't tell you everything about your stuff. It is a bridge between your two selves. But by coupling it with the powers of the devices you retrieved from the Cerberus and the Gatohires, we can end Atlantis' cycle forever. I wasn't just awakening my sixth sense. I was unlocking the power to destroy the entire city. In the wrong hands, the staff has the power to destroy everything. That is why you, and only you, could be its keeper. You 
said it yourself. Juno and Etta will never stop. I've seen those laboratories, the experiments in them. There's only one way to end the suffering here. Destroy this place. My one wish is that I had more time to learn from you. In time, I may have learned to be more human. Here, Poseidon. Keeper of the staff, your trials are over. We're back in the throne room. Tell me, now that you have seen the fate of Atlantis, how do you feel? It's been a long time since I've seen my crew, my friends, our Navas. I feel homesick. The Keeper has no home. The trials are complete. But your journey is long, and will take you to civilizations that have yet to be born. So, what was all this? What you have experienced are echoes of memories. Distorted, but no less real. Whose memories? These two. Some were even my own. In my time as Dicastis, I also tried to bring balance to Atlantis, but it wasn't enough. You? And now, you. I'm ready to leave. You coming? We, uh, are entwined, after all. You saw Persephone rule through order, Hades through chaos, and even had a taste of being a ruler yourself in Atlantis. It was a disaster. You have seen there is no path to power for the Keeper. In the Staff, you have the ability to bring this world to its knees, but that is not your role. You must use your strength to restrain the power of the staff, to guard it, to keep. My mother once told me I was sent by the gods to protect this world. I gave her my word, and now, I give my word to you. And what of your word, heir of memories? You must wake up, and redeem yourself before it's too late, or it will be you who tears this world apart. Now awake! 
The interloper has found you. Wake! Now! Talking to yourself, Layla Hassan. Clearly the Isu artifact has had quite the effect on you. You're going mad. Mr. Berg, you finally showed up. Most impressive. I knew if anyone could discover this place, it was you. But you left Abstergo before you could be assigned this mission. Sigma-6 found it just fine after you tapped into our comm signal. We know it was you. Correct. What you don't know is that I've been listening in for much longer. Ever since you found the Book of Herodotus, from Templar research, I'm sure you stole. You're a real Yahomar, so This is over. Indeed. The world outside is coming to its inevitable end. Whose side you're on won't matter anymore. Come. Hand over the staff. It does matter. I'll always be an assassin. And if you want the staff, you're gonna have to take it from me. First Victoria, now me. Admit it, you can't handle the power of the artifact. Wanna know my favorite thing about the staff? Don't clutch. It's the... immortality. <laughs> Petty to the end. The thing is, Mr. Berg, I don't care if you live or die. You just gotta get out of my way. <clears throat> Face it. Templar's lost. <laughs> Altair 2, come in! Oh. Atlantis oh. has been compromised! My, my legs... Alethea? Alethea! Okay, think, Layla. Your comms are broken. How do you get help? Vic, I failed you. I'm sorry I didn't listen. I wasn't there when you needed me. <sighs> Remember that night you made dinner? <sighs> I'm sorry I said you can't cook. If I knew this is what would happen, I never would have... Please. Send me a sign. Your earpiece. Can anyone hear me? Victoria, uh, we've been trying to find a way to force communication. First, we've lost everyone's vitals, and Elena. then... It's me. Layla? Uh, how? This is Victoria's channel. Where is she? What's been happening down there? Did you finish the trials? Yes, we have the staff. I finished our trials, but... That's incredible! An actual Isu artifact in assassin control. This changes everything. I'm not in control, Elena, and nothing's changed. 
Also, Berg is the interloper. He's in the throne room with me. Look, I'll explain everything, but the Templars know what we're doing, and they're after us. I need you to get me out of here. With you? Uh, are you safe? We fought. He passed out, but he's stable. Please don't make me check on him. You didn't kill him? No. He's still alive. Sit tight, Layla. We're coming for you, but it might take time. What are you gonna do? Until you get here, I'm going back into the Animus. There are a lot of people to say goodbye to.